Peace. This is a Meet the Tug of Sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist, and I want to talk about American history versus occult history. What you must realize is that there often are two versions of history. And I know some people may not like it and some may even be shocked, but that's the truth. There's two versions of history. And we know this because we know what has happened with colonialists. We know what's happened with imperialists. We know what has happened in the case of slavery. But no one talks about occultism. And we have to look at it from this point. We'll take Adolf Hitler, the Fuhrer, and his rise to power. And when he supposedly died in 1945, that is myth. Hitler did not die until the 50s in Argentina. That's one. Secondly, during Operation Paperclip, when Nazi scientists were brought here, and a good book to get is Operation Paperclip by Annie Jacobson. You can acquire that book. And they talk about they brought scientists and engineers over here and doctors, and they did, over 1,600 to be exact. But they didn't talk about that they brought occultists over here as well. And you have to understand the Nazis not only were dealing with occultism, but they also were trying to communicate. And some were successful with extraterrestrials. So they're not addressing the occult aspect. Because occult, true occultists, work in stealth, in secrecy. The Ku Klux Klan, that is an occult party. Albert Pike, the author of Morals and Dogma, was a supreme justice. So you have to, once again, do some critical thinking. Many of the things that are happening now are happening on an occult level because there are evil occultists and there are good occultists. And... The war is going on, and whether or not you want to be a part of it, that's inconsequential. You're a part of it anyway, and so are your children. I can give you this, and this is not to demonize people of the um, homosexual and lesbian camp, but aren't you noticing that they're even trying to push certain things to children? Like when you're a five or six or seven-year-old, your sexual orientation should not be anything. You're playing with toys. That shouldn't be, you know, on your bucket list. But they're making it so. And I have predicted years ago, they're going to come out and say SpongeBob is gay. And what did they do? They did that. But let's take it further. Now in the DC Pantheon, they're making Robin bisexual. And again, this is no attack, but evil occultists want to get children at a very, very young age, period. And I'm not trying to sting anybody, but this is the truth. Because they know if we get you early, we can make you one of the sheep. We can make sure that your occult gene, if you have it, and they study family trees, the Vatican do it, the Mormon do it, they know who are occultists and families and who are not, and they don't want a gene activated. Again, back to Hitler. Hitler was good enough of a sorcerer where he avoided the reincarnation cycle. Hitler did not reincarnate. He avoided that altogether. And even in the entertainment industry. These are two movies that I highly recommend. They're going, one is going to be very difficult. And that is They Live by John Carpenter, 1988. They're making this hard to get. The other one is Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. I highly recommend those two movies. And even in entertainment, the dark or evil occultists, they use people who are talented from an occult perspective. Don't believe me? I can give you one. 
He's an African-American actor named Keith David. And what did he star in? John Carpenter's 1982, The Thing. They Live, 1988. And if you watch cartoons, not always talk about this, especially when it comes to the younger generation. He was the voice of the leader, Goliath, in the cartoon Gargoyles and the HBO adult series Spawn. And he also portrayed the devil in Tales from the Hood 2. So yes, even occultists like certain actors. And then if you step out of bounds and you give up too much insight, they're going to make sure that they neutralize it. They did this with a show called Midnight Texas. Very good on NBC. Only was on for one year. Constantine, the series starring Matt Ryan, only on for one year. And you can go and you can get this from Best Buy. It was a spinoff from the X-Files. The Lone Gunman, where there was an episode that predicted 9-11. And occultists realize, the ones who are trying to fight the war, what is really going on. Because occultists 40 years ago predicted, you are going to have to pay for television. And many scoffed at that, like, I'm, I'm not paying for no television. Mm-hmm, what are you doing? Time Warner, Xfinity, AT&T. Look at what you're doing. You're being steered down a slippery slope. So remember, there's always two versions of history. The one you're told and the one that really happened. So with that, that is your meat and potato associate for the day. I am the Ward Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.